I'm Matthias and I work on developer relations for Chrome DevTools. Being a developer these days can feel like a constant juggling act. We are always dealing with a stream of messages, requests popping up, and just trying to keep track of everything. One of the biggest headaches that comes with all this is the constant need to switch context. Taking a look at a metrics dashboard here, switching back and forth between your production or development environments to verify a bug, and then to your editor to transfer fixes, or quickly hopping back to Google Search to find help. Today, I want to talk about new and recent features in Chrome DevTools that help you to accomplish those tasks and more without the constant need to jump between different applications and tabs. We'll cover updates for performance debugging, improved tools to assess privacy and security, a cleaner UI across DevTools, smoother form debugging, and fixing styling bugs right from DevTools in your local code with the help of AI. So let's take a look at how DevTools allows you to do more with less of control tab. First, let's talk about construction sites. Well, quite a context switch, right? But bear with me. Think about your commute to work or any other path you take every day. Imagine all the houses you pass by. Did you notice one of them recently being repainted? Did you notice the scaffolding, the workers? How long did it take you to recognize the building's fresh color? Sometimes there isn't even any scaffolding you can notice because the work is happening somewhere you can't see, like right under your feet. However, once construction is finished, you immediately notice and integrate what's new in your day-to-day -day life, just like it's always been there. We weren't exactly building a subway into DevTools. However, we had a fairly big construction site ongoing for a while, with a lot of work happening right under your fingertips. And we we're excited you're already making eager use of what we built, the reimagined performance panel. While for the longest time the performance panel was greeting you with only the callout to record a performance profile, the updated performance panel landing page now offers live local core web vital metrics and highlights next steps like setting up field data from the Chrome UX report to work with real user field data rather than only your local lab data, tuning environment settings for CPU or network throttling, and recording a performance profile for deeper investigation. Having all those features available in one clean view gets you started with performance debugging in no time. Make sure to check out the related session by Paul Irish to learn more about all features in the reimagined performance panel. A smaller but just as impactful change is the recent update to the form security panel with Chrome 135, which is now the privacy and security panel, your one-stop shop for all your security and cookie-related debugging tasks. For example, limit all third-party cookies with just a toggle of a switch. Toggle exceptions for the third-party cookie grace period or scenarios like pop-ups and redirects with a simple checkbox. Switch over to the security section to see all origins your site gets resources from at a glance and see if they are secure or not. Related to security, HAR exports now excludes sensitive information by default. No more accidental credential leaks. The updates to the performance panel and the features added to the privacy and security panel were hard to miss. And we already received a lot of positive feedback from you across social media. Please keep that feedback coming on social, but also through our public bug tracker. But besides those bigger features, did you also notice we gave our house a fresh coat of paint? There's a chance you just walked by, so let's take a look together. Over the past couple of months, we updated over 100 icons across DevTools for a more streamlined, cohesive, and accessible look throughout. We unified icon sizes, line widths, and spacings by consistently using Material Design 3 icons across DevTools. Relatedly, for active states, we now consistently use the filled version of the respective icon. And lastly, we swapped some of the last remaining multicolor pixel icons with their material design counterparts for a crisp look, no matter your screen resolution or DevTools zoom level. We did those changes over time, and if you're a daily user of DevTools, I bet some of those updates went by unnoticed. 
but I'm sure you notice them if you compare the overall look of DevTools from a few versions back and now. As an example, take a look at the Elements panel from Chrome 115 and the one from Chrome 137. And looking at those screenshots, you might also spot totally new features that just weren't there back in time, like the new Accessibility Tree button. Across DevTools, there are more of those smaller but useful enhancements, just like this. Let's briefly go through them. You can now see real-time animation values in the Styles tab. And with a little shortcut icon, jump directly into the Animations panel to further debug an underlying animation. And for when you need to debug form-intensive applications, the Autofill panel helps you to understand why certain data was used to autofill certain fields. Toggle the Show Test Addresses checkbox to quickly test forms with other data than your own. All right, with this, let me briefly sweep off the construction dust so we can unpack and make ourselves at home. After all this cleaning, I need something to relax. Maybe I'll watch an episode of What's New in DevTools that always re-energizes me. Hmm, which one to watch? I love all of them. But hold on, something's not right here. Actually, we always expect the thumbnails of our videos to be in 16 by nine format in this carousel but it looks like we accidentally used a thumbnail intended for another platform here, which makes things look off. I chat to the team to fix this at source, but let's implement a quick patch in the meantime using AI assistance for styling. I open DevTools from Chrome's context menu and then move to the elements panel. Select the teaser card in question and open AI assistance by clicking the floating button. So what do I actually want to achieve? I want all the teaser images to always have the same aspect ratio and hide any overflow, no matter what's coming in from the API. So I'll try with exactly that as a prompt. Since that's quite a visual problem, I add a screenshot to my prompt using the new multimodal input support in AI assistance. To do that, I click the little camera icon next to the prompt, which takes a screenshot of my current viewport. This will help Gemini to better understand my request. And off we go. While Gemini is investigating the problem for me, progress is constantly communicated in expandable progress steps inside the UI. By clicking them, I can learn what information Gemini requested from the inspected page through web APIs and what it's doing with this info. After a brief moment, Gemini comes back with a fix. At a glance, this looks quite good to me. Let's apply it and see it in action. Awesome, that's pretty much what I want. So I'm switching over to my edit. Not really. Remember, less of control tab. Below the answer in AI assistance, I see the apply changes together with a new action. Apply to workspace. By clicking on it, I can use Gemini to apply the same fix to my local source code. Workspaces are a feature that have actually been around in DevTools for a while. But with AI assistance, we took the chance and spiced it up a little. While I could manually select the correct folder, development servers can now also announce the source code directory to DevTools using a new well-known file. While the feature is experimental, we are providing a plugin for projects using the vDev server. Angular 20 and later also have support built in. Alternatively, you could add support to your custom tech stack by implementing the required JSON endpoint yourself. That's what I did for the Next.js project I'm currently debugging, which is convenient because now I don't need to hunt for my source code manually, but can just click connect in the notification shown in the sources panel. This also allows me to do quick tweaks to my source code directly from DevTools without switching back to my editor or start a chat about any of my source files with AI assistance. But most importantly, when clicking apply to workspace from the AI assistance panel, this allows Gemini to match the proposed fix back to my source code, taking potential transformations like hashed class names and more into account. After the matching is done, I can verify the changes in a familiar diff view known from version control and other AI coding tools. Once I'm happy, I can save them to my code base, which makes the Next.js dev server refresh. And that's it. The bug is fixed without me ever leaving DevTools. Now, time to sit back, get comfy, 
and rewatch the latest What's New in DevTools. Diving back into our past What's New in DevTools episodes reminded me of all the other new AI features in DevTools. Briefly recap, last year we introduced Console Insights, a quick and easy way to understand and act on errors and warnings shown in the DevTools console. With this, we brought the power of Gemini to DevTools for the first time. A few minutes ago, we used AI assistance for styling to implement a quick fix. Besides that, you can use AI assistance to chat about network, sources, and performance. If any of those features aren't available for you, make sure you're logged into Chrome from a supported country. If in doubt and in an organization, reach out to your Chrome Enterprise Administrator to check DevTools AI innovations are enabled. Note, while AI assistance is generally available, some of the features mentioned in this video, like source code patching with the help of AI, are expected to be available starting with Chrome 137 and later. With that, let's look into an example for AI assistance for network. An average desktop website requires 75 requests to get rendered. Can you map them all from the top of your head? Personally, I probably couldn't, especially if it's a project I don't fully own or one I haven't worked on for a while. With AI assistance for network, I can go to the network panel, right-click any request and select Ask AI from the context menu to learn more about it. Alternatively, I could also click the floating button next to the request. To start a conversation, I can either select any of the suggested prompts or type my own in the prompt input below. In this case, I just want to quickly learn about a request I forgot about, so I just type, what is this request for? Ah, now I remember. We added this library when we experimented with A-B testing, but we don't have any experiments running currently, so I should remember to remove it later to make sure our site stays speedy. Speaking of speed, you can also use AI assistance to chat about the performance of your site. After recording a performance profile, go to the new Performance Insights sidebar. Click the arrow that appears when you hover over an insight to expand it. This reveals more information related to that insight. And expected to start with Chrome 137, for some insights shows the new Ask AI action to start a new chat about this insight with AI assistance. So to come to an end, I'd say let's briefly switch context back to construction sites. Do you still remember the subway station from the beginning? After everything that you now learned about DevTools, can you still tell the lines stopping at the DevTools station running below our freshly painted house? Let us know in the comments below. However, that's not the important bit. Rather than imaginary subway lines, you should now know about all the recent features in DevTools, so you can get more done with less context switching throughout. Use the Reimagine Performance panel to observe field data right from DevTools. The updated Privacy and Security panel to keep your site and users safe. And AI assistance for styling to patch your source code right from DevTools. Together with our quality of life improvements, DevTools helps you to stay focused and productive every day. And if there ever is something you stumble over, make sure to let us know, either on social or through our public bug tracker. Now, to learn more, check out the resources linked in the description. Subscribe to this channel to stay tuned on DevTools with the What's New in DevTools and our tooling tips series. Thank you for watching.